Alexia. And I'm Christian. And welcome to Eat the Pizza. And today we are making the highly requested, thanks to you guys, apple pie pizza. Yes, it's perfect for Thanksgiving or the holidays. Yep, and this episode is brought to you by Mattress Firm. Yeah, let's be real. Part of the fun of the holiday season is letting yourself relax and indulge and the adjustable base from Mattress Firm makes that a lot easier because you can adjust your position to your ultimate comfort and relaxation levels. Now that's what I'm talking about. But what's a day of R&R &R without a good snack? We gotta eat some food and today we're gonna show you how to make an apple pie pizza which you can eat yourself, share with your loved ones, family, friends. You're not gonna wanna share it though because it's gonna be so good you're gonna want it all yourself. I encourage you not to and share it. Let's begin. I encourage you to only eat it only on your own and by yourself. Don't share it. Don't even share it. First, we gotta peel and pop. Peel Press and pop. spoon against seam. But we gotta peel it first. I hate opening these. Oh no, this is a rectangle. Oh, it needs to be a circle. We should have I mean, it doesn't need to be, but I would prefer. Do they prefer... even make a circle? No, I, mean, I don't think they do. Just like... I would prefer to have a circle pizza today. Okay. Oh, yeah. dang! How to get this into a circle? Well, we start by taking the corners and... All right, that's like a circle. <laughs> Mamma mia. We gotta pre-bake the crust while we cut the apples. Into the oven it goes. All right, so we're gonna cut the apples. Cutting it down the center. Cutting it down the center. Here, how's this? That looks perfect. It's just right. Who knows if I'm doing the right amount of wedges. Christian, you better be. All right, we've got our apples. Now we can um, cook them in. Okay, we're making our apple pie filling. Sugar, flour, cinnamon, apples into the mix. Now I gotta somehow get them all coated. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get it cooking. And we're gonna get it nice, get them nice and coated. Get those apples coated, hun, quick before they melt. Listen, I'm working on getting them coated. Get them a little bit better coated. I'm working on it. Crap. What? We, what, what, what? We didn't peel the apples. Nah. You never... eat the skin. No, you eat the skin not of an, an apple. apple pie. You have to peel the apples. No, look how soft they are. Crumble topping. So okay. we got. Flour. Flour. Oats. Oats. Brown sugar. Don't mind if I do. Softened butter. Softened butter. My favorite spice. That would be cinnamon, everybody. You make sure the butter's all crumbled. Yeah, and so that's gonna get uh, become like the crumble on top of our pie pizza. Congratulations. Uh, don't mind that, you're not gonna see it. It's gonna get covered in apps. I think it looks great. Should we put the Dutch, the, or the, uh, the crumble? Put the crumble on. Oh, yeah. Into the oven it goes. Come on. And now it's time for the pizza fact of the day. Early English apple pies actually had no sugar in them because what? sugar cost too much and they used sweet fruits like figs instead to sweeten it. It's actually pretty smart. Yeah, but probably tastes worse. Probably tastes much worse, <laughs> sorry. All right, what are we whipping up here? I think our apple pie pizza needs a frosting, like an icing. I agree. I mean, I know most apple pies don't have an icing, but it'll just go perfectly. It's the holidays, it's the holidays. everybody. You're indulging. You're getting a day Come of Arana. Okay. In goes this powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. In and goes this milk. A little bit at a time. So you see how that's nice and thick? Thick. Now that's a, an icing. Thick but drizzly is what you're going for, folks. Come Joe. on. Congratulations. Whoa, whoa. This looks freaking amazing. It does, I'm ready to dig in. It smells like apple pie. And I think it's time. To eat the pizza, let's do it! Come on. Ooh. That crust held up well. Yeah, it did, really That's did. That's nice. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really 
good. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like apple pie, but you eat it like a pizza. This is a Dutch apple pie in the form of a pizza, mm. which is exactly what you requested. That crumble is so good that on top. Really good. The apples are perfectly soft. Adding this, the um, icing, the frosting stuff. Yeah. Great choice. And you still have. How do you do it? You still have a little bit of like the savory balance with the actual pizza crust. Mm -hmm. So it's not overly sweet. Like it's it's a dessert for sure, but you've got that salty sweet balance. Mm. And I was worried it was gonna be too thick. Huh. I was worried it was gonna taste like too much apple pie to crust ratio. And I was worried that the crust wasn't gonna hold it up. Both of those worries, not a concern now. But that pizza crust gives it the savory. I think it's time for us to get to bed, honestly. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready right now. All right. All right, let's get out of here. Man, I'm full. What a great show. This year, Mattress Firm is encouraging you to indulge. Maybe it's in some apple pie pizza, maybe it's an extra hour of sleep, maybe both. They have plenty of great flash sales online and in store. You can learn about them and learn how to get an adjustable base for free using the link in the description box. Thanks so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope that you will try out this pizza. The recipe link is in the description and we will see you in two weeks on Eat the Pizza. Ha <laughs> <laughs>